A massive January and looking like an even bigger February coming up here. I will date this. We are in January of 2024. Uh, so it might not seem like it's plausible, but it is, and it is for a lot of people, even though we've got, I think, like 40% of originators not, 40, 50, 60% not originating their license. Um, interesting times in the industry, for sure. But uh, we're going to find out how one mortgage originator who's been at this a long time has managed to keep things going. Uh, that would be Kevin Blair. He's with me right now. Kevin, how are you, my friend? Man, I'm better than I should be, Frank. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing okay, man. I'm doing okay. Um, I always say, I'm, 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 if I was any better, I'd be twins. How's there you that? go, man. I like that. M my favorite thing is if I was any better, there'd have to be like 11 of me. So, <laughs> you know, that's how it, but at any rate, uh, Kevin, Hey, just be, just to get the, uh, housekeeping out of the way. This is the mortgage loan officer podcast brought to you by the mortgage marketing animals. I'm your host, Frank Array, and here with Kevin Blair. Both of us are, are, are seasoned in this industry, Kevin. Uh, I think you said you're 25, 26 years, something like that. I started my 25th year, 25 years. Yeah. And, uh, me too, been at a long time. Uh, we've seen a lot, right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, now you were originating through the big refi boom, and so you were you were participating in that. Of course, I wasn't at that time, um, but uh, you came through that. Uh, of course, we went into twenty twenty two, which was you know kind of things getting a little tighter as far as volume is concerned, right? There, sure. prior to that, we had everybody in the world wanted to get a mortgage, and so it was it was easy times. And if and if 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 you were in the business at that time, you didn't make a lot of money. You're doing something wrong because you couldn't go anywhere without finding somebody who wanted to rebuy. Right. Um, but, uh, and then things got tight, you know, and we came into 2023 and continued to be in more of a, what I would call having done this for a long time, pretty much kind of more of a normal market, right? Like, right. you know, that's pretty, exactly pretty right. normal. Yeah. It just wasn't so overblown with the refi thing uh, where people had to really shift gears and change things up and, and get back to being an originator, right. Working with real estate people and what we normally do, you know, sure you get some stuff, but you are here now. Uh, tell me about your January. How, how's your January look? And I'm very, I really want you to emphasize where these, where your transactions are coming from, because I think this is going to surprise a lot of people. You know, it's funny, Frank, and thank you for having me on the show. I, I do appreciate it. You know, the journey has been a journey. We'll, mm. we'll put it that way. Uh, our January for 2024 was actually the best month that I had all last year. Wow. Right? And our February is stacking up to be even better. We've already got two loans for March and one loan for April already today. Wow. And it's been a long time, a long time since we've had a trailing pipeline. Yeah, I will tell you this and what's been really unique about this, uh, because, yeah, we went through the, you know, back in the early 2000s, we went through the implosion of refinances. Okay? Right. Uh, and I, I went to work for a refinance and it was a chop shop. I'm talking a pure chop shop. Yeah. And I worked for him for about six months, loved the business, just didn't want to be in that environment. Mm. So I, I found a, a company that was a great company, ended up being there seven years. I've only been with three mortgage companies in my in my entire life now. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, good. So uh, after that first one, well, that first one, that was six months. I don't even count it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I fell in love with the business. Well, when 07, 08 happened, kind of like what's going on right now, everybody was getting out of the business. Yeah. I doubled down. And I learned the purchase business and I learned mm. what it meant to go out and get the purchase business, mm. uh, which was fantastic um, because it was sustainable. It didn't go up and down with the market. Uh, yeah. There's always going to be, you know, I'm sure just like you, my first home was 18%, 18%. And what yeah, you do you do? Crazy. Home, you right. Know? Yeah. Uh, so this last couple of years have, has been absurd. If we look at the stats for the last 40 years, You've got to go back to 2005 before it was a better year than 2019. Mm. We are back at 2019 levels for 23. Mm. So if we if we take out that two or three year period, which was absurd, okay, yeah. was, we made a lot of money. Uh, but that's 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 not what this is about. So I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, uh, mm. because it it will tell you who I am. Uh, so about, it's been two years now, uh, 
our our company, Element Home Loans, we changed our parent company. We went to another bigger company that's our parent company. And they had, or they have, an influencer division. All right. Okay. So what had happened, what took place is, you know, we're in our training. Now, I'm down in Atlanta. There's the 200, 250 people were down in Atlanta for a three-day training. And I'm out to dinner with the guy that's training me and my boss. And he says, tell me about your business. I said, yeah, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And it's great. He said, yeah, but let me show you something. Okay. He opens up his laptop and he shows her this one guy that's leading seven loan officers in six months had gotten 28,000 leads. Okay. Wow. 20 wow, leads. <laughs> yes. So I said, okay, tell me about this because I was a lending tree guy in the yeah. boxes. All right. Yeah. So leads. I love leads. Yeah. Long story short, I bought into it. Okay. Yeah. Not only I bought into it, I did it for over a year. And Frank, my business went from here to here. And for those that are just listening, he had his hand up high and then he put it down low. Just so you, just so you know, to be clear. Uh, yeah, not only did the bottom drop out, but I stopped doing because we were covered up. We were covered up. We were getting 200 leads a day, a day. Okay. I had to go get licensed in nine States because I picked, I saw where all the leads were coming from. Hmm. Plan was to get licensed for all 50 States because these leads were coming in from all over. Uh, you want me to tell you the sad fact? Yeah, this is fascinating so far. So you got all these leads coming in, streaming in, getting licensed in multiple states. And yeah, keep keep going. What happened? In, in one year, seven loans. Seven. Wow. Seven. Okay. That's fascinating. So what, what we had to do, because I wasn't licensed, our company is licensed in all 50 states. I'm mm. farming these leads out to other loan officers, mm. all right, mm. to the ones that I wasn't licensed in. Yeah. And my my goal was to develop a relationship with realtors to say, you know, our realtors love, you know, why don't you, a loan officer, feed me leads? Right. You know, that's the thing. I'm going to be feeding. So I was trying to develop relationships in Texas, in Virginia, in Kentucky, in wherever. And I, mm. I got involved with a, a, a group of kind of like what we're doing with Loan Officer Breakfast Club, but it was with just realtors. Brother, I was sending them leads, and I know what happened. I know what happened because we we were approving a bunch of them. Hmm. They would take that lead, and I guarantee they were giving them to their other loan officers. Yikes, that ain't cool. Yeah. Okay, hmm. uh, so you know the software that I bought. I mean, we we ramped up, and it killed my mojo. It killed our flow, uh, and then all of a sudden, one of the ladies, and you know her very very well, Sharon hmm. Walker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sharon and I walk, work for the same company, uh, and we talk all the time. And I noticed Sharon and I lead a, a manager's call every Monday for all, like, 27 managers that are in our division. Yeah. And I noticed her talking different. I noticed mm. her more excited. I noticed her talking about facts and figures and percentages and what she was doing. So I called her one night. I said, okay, I got to ask. You've joined, you've joined a cult, right? Mm -hmm. Something has changed and you've done something different. She said, what, I said, what are you doing? She said, I'm going to send you a link. It's called Loan Officer Breakfast Club. And I just want you to listen. So the next morning I signed in and I got you. Okay. I got yeah. you. So we're, we're Sorry listening. about that. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> You know what, brother, it is all good. I promise you it is all good. I, I can't imagine starting my day any other way because we only get to go Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because I, my, my manager calls the same day. Yeah. Uh, so I listened for two months. We started working the DSP a little bit, had no idea, but we had just, we had started the work. We cut what we were doing. I mean, cut what we were doing. Take me, been, what, 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 what month and year is this that this is starting? July, July of 23. Okay, go ahead. July of 23. So six, seven months ago. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I talked to Kristen Simpson, which I hate giving her any kudos at all because she's a Philadelphia Eagle fan. And yes, I'm bringing that up. Okay. Here's the, here's the thing. You're going to love to hear this. I am still, I am still in mourning over my Cowboys. Okay. 
I had a I had an unbelievable conversation with Kristen, and I looked at it as an investment. All right, um, and so we had a couple of conversations because I'm not an easy sell, mm. uh, but I had a couple of conversations. We kept listening, so I finally called her. I said, "Okay, I'm doing this." I gave you some numbers earlier. All yes. right. Now, I'm not going to publish those now. I, 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 I don't like doing that. Hmm. But when I say my volume was high and then went to medium and then bottomed out, it bottomed out. Okay. 2023 was actually my worst year that I'd had in probably 15, 18 years. Hmm. I had a goose egg close zero loans one month last month. And I hadn't done that in 25 years. I hadn't done that since the first month I'd, I'd been in business. Wow. But we were starting all over. And yeah. I went to the Freedom Club. I went to a boot camp. I went to a garage fest with Carl. Uh, we bought in 100%. I'm talking 100%. We started working the DSP. And when I say we block our time from 930 to 1130 every day, mm. we block our time. Mm. We're making the calls. And, you know, I remember this graph that everybody's talking about. You're going to you're gonna go this way, this way, this way for three or four months. And all of a sudden, mm. it's going to do that. Yeah. The dam is finally broken for us, mm. all right? In January, in January, I've gotten more applications, more applications than I did leads in December, than I did leads in November, than I wow. did leads in October. Our applications are, we are going to be back to a point now, okay? Because the numbers don't lie. We can see it coming and we, we, like I told you, I mean, we've got a trailing pipeline now for the first time in a year. Wow. So it's been pretty exciting. Uh, but the biggest part, and here's where, and I've got, a, here's where something, I really thought that I was taking care of my database. Mm. You know, we touched them, you know, the birthdays, they've got annual review calls and nobody answered a call. They've got uh, time change. They've got the anniversary email on their the anniversary of their sure. Life. Yeah. And I was getting probably 10 or 15% of my business was repeat business from sure. my, my database. Yeah. And then I heard a stat. And honestly, I said, oh, BS. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to say that on the podcast. Uh, and, Frank, and Carl, I'm sorry for saying that. Yeah, uh, you're fine. <laughs> it's all uh, good. He's, you know, they, they started talking about you should be getting one out of every hundred in your, in database. your database. Yeah. Okay. And they say it takes three to six months to completely wake it up. Yeah. What I did is I, when I say I bought in, I bought in. When they came to us, Frank, and said, would you sign a year contract? Okay. I bought in. I signed the one year contract. Yeah. Even though, even though things hadn't started happening yet. Yeah. So I don't know, a couple of weeks ago on, on the LOBC, I just said, you know what? I want to encourage somebody because I know there's one person out there that was listening that just started this, that was where I was six months ago. Right. right? Um, we started waking up our database. I've already called, I'm on my third time now calling every one of the people in my database. I've got 1,300 people in my closed loan database. Okay. I like to call it a data bank. Yeah, right? it's nice. Um, yeah. The We've had postcards go out every single month since August. We've had our bi-monthly email that has nothing to do with mortgages that Sherry and I took a, a five day motorcycle trip. I posted a story about that, put a picture of us. We went to Dollywood with the three of our grandkids talked about my eight year old calling me a sissy. Cause I wouldn't want to ride the rides. I'm getting a 60% open rate on my emails. So things are starting to happen. I've got nine leads and five deals out of my pipeline this month. And this, this is month, January, right? This is January. 44% of my closed loans for January came from my database. Wow. 30% so far for, for February came from my database. So far. Uh, so far. So mm -hmm. what we've done, I'm doing the database. Josh is doing what, you know, what we call Thor's hammer. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the focus 40. Um, I will, I, I will tell you this, man, and I'll take my glasses off and say this. Uh, it has been probably two years since I felt this good about what we're doing. Wow. Okay? Uh, 
I'm back to the basics. I'm back to tracking numbers. I'm back to following the percentages. Uh, and this is a pretty strong statement, and I don't say this lightly. Uh, LOB starts with LOBC, Mortgage Market Animals, and Freedom Club has literally changed my life. Wow. Okay. Um, and it's changed Josh's life. Because if you think about it, and Josh is my partner, he's also my son, had a 16 year career, managed 65 people, making good money. That year I did 50 million and we saw that it's all kept it going. I said, baby, it's time. You got to come now. And what happened? It went down in the tank. So uh, this is not what we're doing together. What we're doing with uh, the Freedom Club and MMA is not only changing my life, but it's changing my son's life and his mm -hmm. family's life. Uh, and I want to say this publicly. I want to say this right now. I can't thank you enough. Okay, there, there's the camera. I can't <laughs> thank you enough, Frank, for what you bring to us Monday through Thursday and how you start our days off. That lady that, that called in this week or that uh, sent the Facebook post. Yeah. Uh, Alicia. Was Delicia. 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 Yeah. Uh, the community and and there it's all loan officers. There's sometimes three, four, five hundred people on this Zoom call every morning. Right. This lady got really vulnerable and said that she was struggling. And for 30 minutes, man, just one after another, one after another, one after another, there was encouragement and Man, are you kidding me? How strong is that? I know that How was really a good moment. Yeah, so, I'm sorry. I, I probably rambled, and I apologize about that. Uh, Dude, you, you made you made this podcast so easy. I mean, I just don't even want to. I would just ask you this, and we'll we'll we'll, we'll end this. And first of all, I, I just want to say how happy I am for you and your and your team and your son, and just that you know, you 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 made the decision to make the investment and just to buy in and you've done it and it's i'm just it's so just cool to hear how how it's just paying off and yes, and so i'm just so happy for you guys for what for what's going on with you and i and i also just want to thank you so much for your kind words you know about you know loan officer breakfast club and you know whatever however we helped participate in in right. this uh very kind of you to say that and so but to end this thing i would just say i would just say if someone's listening right now and and they're struggling what would be the first step you would suggest that they do i mean first things first you know they, maybe they've been in the biz a long time just like you 20 year 25 year they feel like they're starting all over again first things first what okay that's a great question and are you talking about somebody that's in the freedom club or somebody outside no maybe? someone who doesn't even know about anything yeah okay. just someone who happened to see this this title of this podcast and thought i think i'll listen to that one and they're listening to it where would you start very first thing i would do is sign up to the loan officer breakfast club okay it's okay. free it's 30 minutes you'll see a different breed of people you'll see a different excitement than from the people around you okay whether you're a single loan officer whether you're a branch you'll notice a difference of the people okay that are committed, that are doing what we call the daily success plan, the DSP. So the first thing I do is start listening to the uh, to the DSP or the, the, the Loan Officer Breakfast Club. Mm. Then in, in there's, I think there's what two or three levels that you can join. Well, yeah, uh, just go MMA would be the first level, right. Mortgage Marketing right. Animals, and then to to take it to the next level would be Freedom Club. Right. Okay. Uh, and and you know what? It was scary. It was scary making the investment, it, but you know, there, you can't take you, any pro athlete, any professional, I'm talking top tier, top tier professional, whether it's in acting or whether it's in business, we have coaches. All right. Because I believe in coaching and because, you know, like I asked you on my podcast, I wanted a 50,000 foot view mm -hmm. of what, of what you, of who you are. Well, we're, we're here in the weeds and we're fighting the daily struggle every day. I, I shouldn't say that we're, we're, we're winning this daily struggle every single True. day, yeah, yeah. Um, but there's something about somebody at 10,000 level looking down and, and can see the path. Of yeah. where we're going. Um, and it's, it's really helpful to have somebody that has, you, you know what the most important thing that I've, I've noticed about what we're doing, hmm. 
Frank, you have no stake in my business. Carl right. has no stake in my business. Kristen has no stake in my business. My coach, Dan Ellis, has no stake in my y'all don't make more money because I'm making more, I make more money. Mm. And to pour your lives into what we're doing. Holy smokes. Are you kidding me? Mm. That is that is so very, very strong, which is why that community is strong and then why it's growing. So I'm sorry, that was a really long answer. First thing, loan officer breakfast club, start listening. Then mm -hmm. go to MMA. Is it MMA.com? Mortgage, mortgage marketing animals. Right. Yeah. Ask for a call. Ask for a call. You're going to get mm -hmm. probably one of three ladies. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, I can't bust on her. I can't, even though she's a <laughs> Eagles fan. I can't. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you'll get Kristen. Uh, superb, superb lady. Um, mm -hmm. She really is. Listen to it. Buy into it. Learn what the DSP is. Put your head down and go to work. I love it. What a great way to end this. Kevin, thank you so much for being on the podcast. Really appreciate it. I did not expect it to go the way that it went, but I'm glad it did because uh, it's just so good to hear, man. It's just wow. so good to hear. And uh, congrats to you, your son. And um, I know you guys are just going to continue to excel and get do more and more and more. In fact, I'm supposed to talk to Josh later today. He's going to help me on a CRM. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, but at any rate, Kevin, thanks so much for being on the podcast, man. I super appreciate it. Best to you, best to your team, you know, looking right. forward to seeing you on breakfast club, you know, and beyond yeah. at the events and that kind of a thing. And so for the rest of you that who are just listening, man, I hope this, you know, I hope this helped today. Uh, there is a way to get to, to dip your toe into the, marketing animals and into coaching just like kevin said it's free loan officer breakfast club loan officer breakfast club.com you come there it's free 30 minutes a day four days a week um and you're right when you get in there you will hear you'll it, it's a culture yes, you it know is. it's it's a culture and it's a good culture yes, right it it's yes, a very it good is. culture yeah yes, and that's where we need to be it's where we need to start our day so anyways thanks kevin appreciate you for being on the podcast so much man thank you brother you and for it. the rest of you thanks for tuning in and catch us here next week on the mortgage loan officer podcast until then we'll see you later bye-bye thank you sir